Good evening and welcome. My name is Jeremy Sable. I'm the president of Stenberg College and it is my privilege and uh, pleasure to welcome all of you who have taken the time to watch this presentation of Stenberg College's Spring Convocation for 2021. To family and friends, to faculty and staff, and of course to the graduates themselves, welcome. I'd like to take a quick moment to thank the SFU Pipe Band, world famous as they are. Uh, they join us for every one of our graduation ceremonies to, to kick us off, and uh, so thank you to them. Before we recognize the graduates, there is a very special award that it is my pleasure to present. To introduce this award, I would like to welcome cardiology technologist instructor Jonathan Aquino to the stage. He is going to be presenting the Christopher Wittig Memorial Scholarship Award. Before we recognize our graduates, I would like to take some time to present the Christopher Wittig Memorial Scholarship. Christopher Wittig was a distinguished cardiology technology student at Stenberg College until his untimely passing in the fall of 2019, just three months prior to him finishing the program. I remember the day I was blessed enough to meet Christopher Wittig as an instructor at Stenberg College. His radiant smile and endearing disposition were enough to warm up the room on that frigid winter day in Calgary, Alberta. In speaking with Chris, it was immediately evident that everything he did, he did to unite people and embrace them with a sort of warmth and kindness that knew no limits. Relationships are what Chris valued the most. and every opportunity Chris had to speak of his friends and family, he did with this little twinkle in his eye that I can only describe as pure love. He lived to encourage those around him and his positive influence spanned an entire country. When Chris passed, his, his classmates across Canada felt as if they lost an older brother. And those who knew him will never forget his uplifting sense of humor, generosity of spirit, and his positive outlook that we all aspire to at Stenberg College. At his core, Chris was a farm boy and was no stranger to hard work. Achieving an impressive 92% grade point average in the cardiology technology program, his passion for helping others was matched by his tremendous work ethic and relentless pursuit of knowledge. Having lost his brother to a heart attack, Chris understood the pain of losing loved ones and decided to pursue cardiology um, so others would not share in his heartache. Even though Chris never sought greatness, only goodness, his legacy will live on in our hearts forever. Today I would like to present the annual Christopher Wittig Memorial Scholarship to none other than my dear student, Jennifer Ball. Jen exemplifies every positive quality that an outstanding cardiology technologist possesses. As instructors, we share in the success of our students. We relish in the challenge of being able to teach a craft to anyone. But there is one thing we cannot always teach, and that is how to be a good human being. For Jen, patient care and compassion are ingrained in her very being. Her innate ability to uplift those around her has an undeniable resemblance to Chris Wittig's. In the words of my fellow colleague, Rihanna Paul, Jen puts her all in absolutely everything that she does. You can tell how satisfied she gets when she helps patients. It's an internal win for her whenever she helps someone. Jen is smart, wise, and so caring. Jen, your instructors and I couldn't agree more. You are so deserving of this award, an award that embodies kindness, compassion, and camaraderie. We are all incredibly proud of you, and we know you will be an amazing cardiology technologist. I would like to welcome the department head of the cardiology technology program, Christina Scott, forward to present this award to Jennifer Ball. Congratulations, Jennifer. I would now like to welcome Jen forward to say a few words. Thank you, Jonathan and Christina. 
Hello fellow graduates, Stanford College faculty, staff, family and friends. I am overwhelmed with gratitude to have been selected to receive the Chris Wittig Memorial Scholarship Award. Chris Wittig's legacy is that of strength, inspiration, determination, and perseverance despite all the trials and adversities. His cohort described Chris as a kind and helpful big brother whose positivity touched many lives. I am truly deeply honored to accept this scholarship award and further Chris's legacy. We all have different reasons for choosing our destiny, but we are all unified with one same goal, to succeed. Finishing the cardiology technology program was not an easy journey. Without the great support from our families, peers, and instructors, this journey would be impossible to endure. I am glad to have met a lot of great people and build long-lasting friendships. Karen, Sammy, and Yoon-hae, whom I got in close to during tough times, thank you for lending a helping hand. In the early days into the program, the Q&A forum was a great platform to communicate and support our fellow peers. Thank you all who responded to the call of urgency. Last but not least, my sincere gratitude to all our cardiology technology instructors, Christina Scott, Jonathan Aquino, and Rihanna Paul, to name a few, who were all there through every step of the way. The knowledge, guidance, and encouragement bestowed upon us laid out a strong foundation for us to be the best in our chosen field. I look forward to the opportunities to apply my abilities and skills in diagnostic cardiology for many years to come. I am humbled and appreciative of this experience and proud to be a Stanford graduate. Congratulations to us all. Thank you and good night. Thank you very much, Jonathan, and congratulations to this year's winner. We'll now recognize the Student of the Year nominees. All year long, staff and faculty at Stenberg College submit nominations of students who exemplify excellence in academics, leadership, attitude, community service, and spirit. We receive many nominations and stories of students who have gone above and beyond what is expected of them. The names running across the screen are the names of those who have been nominated for the Student of the Year Award. Student of the Year recognizes the remarkable accomplishments of those who come to Stenberg College and transform their lives through education. Whether taking classes at Stenberg's flagship campuses in Surrey, off-site at our satellite campuses throughout British Columbia, or in our regional labs in Calgary, Winnipeg, or Halifax, or online across Canada, the experiences of our students are united by profound personal and professional growth. The award goes to students who embody Stenberg's mission to develop caring graduates who benefit their professional and personal communities. We will continue to collect nominations until the fall graduation ceremony, at which point we will be faced with the difficult task of choosing just one finalist per program. Each program finalist will be interviewed and from this group, one winner a first runner-up and a second runner-up will be selected. The winner of the award receives a full tuition reimbursement, up to $20,000, and the first runner-up receives a $5,000 tuition reimbursement, and the second runner-up receives a $2,500 tuition reimbursement. Each program finalist also receives a $1,000 tuition reimbursement. We present the awards every October and students graduating from any Stenberg program, whether it's a classroom-based program or online program, are eligible. I'd like to congratulate those who have been nominated. It is a great honor and achievement simply to be recognized in the nominee list. I would like to introduce now our valedictorians for this evening. We have two outstanding students who have been named valedictorian, one representing in-class programs and one representing the purely online programs. 
Both students have excelled in their respective programs and are Student of the Year nominees as well. The first graduate I would like to introduce is Emily Privet, representing the in-class programs. Emily is graduating tonight from the Optician program and her instructor, Raj Mann, had this to say about her. Emily is a hard-working student who was always prepared for class. I've taught many students and she stood out because of her meticulous planning. She took it upon herself to meet students online on her own time to help them study for exams and she always demonstrated patience. I dream of having students like Emily and it was a joy having her in the classroom. Please welcome Emily Privet. Good evening to my fellow graduates, Stenberg faculty, family and friends. My name is Emily and I'm honoured to be speaking to you tonight. Tonight is a night to celebrate the achievements of all my fellow graduates and also to recognise the support given to us by Stenberg faculty, our families and our friends. We definitely couldn't be here today without you all. Although we are graduating together, everyone has walked a unique path. As a child, I had no idea what I wanted to be when I grew up. Adults and teachers would ask me, what do you want to be? And I always had an answer, but it changed pretty much every time the question was asked. And I was never particularly passionate about the answer. All I knew was that I wanted to help people. I was assured that one day I would figure it out. So I waited and hoped that it would come to me. I guess I was hoping that it would come to me in a dream. I graduated high school, went to university, and even though I was 18 and had technically grown up, I still didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up. I finished university with a degree that I wasn't passionate about. To be honest, I was feeling a bit lost. I worked part-time at a big optical store in the UK throughout my university days. So when I came over to Canada, I thought I might as well get a job in that field until I figure out what I actually wanted to do. I worked in a small store and was able to interact with our clients. As time went on, I realized how much I loved getting to know our clients, helping them feel confident in their glasses, helping them to see the world in HD again, and making sure they left the store with a smile on their face. I watched a four-year-old boy put on his first pair of glasses and suddenly be able to see the world clearly, probably for the first time. It was then that I realized that I had found my space in the world where I could make a difference, where I could help people. I was excited about coming to work and I could see myself doing this for years to come. But I wanted more. I wanted to learn more and understand more so I could help more. And that's why I came to Stenberg to get my licensed optician diploma. The particular path I took to be standing here may be unique, but I think everyone graduating tonight had and still has that same passion about wanting to help people and make a difference. Whether it be in a hospital setting as a nurse, a school setting as an education assistant, or an optical setting like as a licensed optician. Everyone here has the heart and the will to help, and each one of our teachers here at Stenberg has helped set us up with the knowledge and skills to do so. This will to help was made apparent right from the beginning in my own classroom. From day one, my class had a WhatsApp group so we could ask each other questions. Throughout the year, we created study groups, stayed after class to help each other, and when class moved online due to the pandemic, we organized Zoom study sessions. I knew that I could always turn to any of my classmates and they would take their time to help me out. That willingness to help was invaluable to me. It felt like we were facing the challenges of the course as a team rather than individuals. Because of this team mentality, many of these classmates have turned into friends I know I will be able to turn to in years to come. I want to congratulate everyone graduating today for taking the steps to start your journey and for succeeding in your course here at Stenberg. Going into further education at any age is a daunting process, 
but each of us has studied hard and we have come out the other side, more knowledgeable, more capable, but with that same passion to help and to make a difference in people's lives. Although our Stenberg journeys are coming to an end, I am so excited for each and every one of us to continue our journey, to put our skills into practice and to start making a difference in our communities. I will leave you with this quote from Mina Myers, an advocate for following your passion. To all my fellow graduates, go into the world and do well, but more importantly, go into the world and do good. Thank you. Our second valedictorian this evening is a psychiatric nursing graduate, Danielle Morgan, who represents our combined delivery programs. I would like to share with you a short testimonial about Danielle from one of her instructors, Harj Parmar. Danielle excels academically and takes initiative in her learning. She demonstrates a willingness to help others, takes on a leadership role, providing guidance and support to her peers. Danielle role models respect, empathy and compassion in her personal and professional life. She is driven, passionate and goes over and above her role to meet the needs of clients. Well done, Danielle. Please welcome Danielle Morgan. Good evening, fellow graduates, Stenberg faculty, family, and friends. My name is Danielle Morgan, and I'm a graduate of Stenberg College's Regional Diploma of Psychiatric Nursing. It is both an honor and a privilege to stand before you tonight speaking on behalf of students graduating from combined delivery programs at Stenberg College. First, I want to begin by paraphrasing a quote that our therapeutic relationships instructor, Debbie, said during one of our online meetings. It was profound and will stick with me for the rest of my life. She said that more often than not in our role as psychiatric nurses, we will not get to see the result of our impact on our clients. However, we may be that one tiny stepping stone that is a catalyst for changing growth in their lives. As students, we had many people who acted as stepping stones for growth and change along our journeys. To our family and friends, thank you for supporting us emotionally, financially, physically, and spiritually. You stepped in for us to meet the needs you saw we could not, and you encouraged us to persevere. Because of you, we had the courage and the means to complete our programs. Thank you for believing in us. It's because of your unwavering support and belief in us that we are standing here today. To the faculty and staff, thank you for tirelessly working to equip us with all we needed to succeed. Thank you for the late night responses to our questions, for the constructive feedback, for the encouragement, and for imparting your knowledge and wisdom to us. Because of you, we have the skills, the knowledge, and the self-confidence to step out into our new roles. For the staff behind the scenes, who worked tirelessly to place us in our clinicals during a worldwide pandemic, we know this was an impossible task but you made it happen and we are standing here today because of you. In the words of Walter Elliott, perseverance is not a long race. It is many short races, one after another. Fellow graduates, we have run many short races throughout the duration of our education at Stenberg College. I want you to take a moment now to reflect on all you have overcome to be here tonight. Every discussion in peer post, the hours of reading, missing out on time with your family because you had homework or had to travel for clinicals and labs. The frustration and the victory. Some of you lost loved ones along the way. Others experienced illness. For some of us, our families had to be content with us operating at 25% in our roles as parents, spouses, and providers. All of this weighed heavily on our minds as we struggled to fulfill the needs of our families, manage our health, and grieve our losses while simultaneously pursuing our education. Despite all of this, we persevered, and we are better because of it. But we are not done. This chapter may be closing, but a new one opens before us. One that is sure to be beautiful and filled with many successes, but one that will not be free of trials. I ask you all to remember this glorious moment when those trials come. When you doubt yourselves, and when you want to throw in the towel. Remember all it took for you to get here. Remember the coping mechanisms you utilized and the people who held you up when you felt like giving up and lean on those things. Doing so will give you the courage you need to overcome again and again. Despite the difficulties, you persevered, you overcame, accomplishing what you set out to do. 
you can do anything. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. Thank you, Danielle, for your outstanding work as a student and as a practitioner, as a psychiatric nurse, and thank you very much for that work. Our department heads will now acknowledge the graduating cohorts for spring 2021. As the student names cross your screen, please feel free to celebrate and acknowledge uh, them in whatever way you uh, choose there in your home or wherever you happen to be uh, joining us from. Uh, we invite you to engage with the digital feed. Uh, you can comment, you can tag, uh, whatever you choose as we celebrate and commend the hard work that each student has put in to complete their studies and continue on to a successful career. Congratulations BDMS 0120, you did it. And now as business grads with a specialization in marketing, you are ready to move on to the next step of your professional development, whether that means pursuing your studies, directly entering the workforce or starting your own business as so many of you wanna do. Over the past year, you've learned how to use Office 365, you've acquired new math skills, you've mastered the art of marketing a brand, and you've learned how to set up a business. That's a lot. You were the first cohort to transition to our online teaching environment. You started in the classroom, and then in March when the pandemic struck, we had to learn how to do things differently. We learned how to use Moodle, we learned how to work together on BB Collaborate, and your instructors all greatly appreciate how quickly you adapted to our new environment. We have no doubt that you will be successful in your future endeavors because you are all incredibly focused on your goals. Congratulations, BDMS 0420. As business grads with a specialization in marketing, you now have the skills that you need to move to the next step in your professional development whether that means that you will be pursuing additional studies, entering the workforce immediately, or starting your own business, as so many of you wanna do. You were the first cohort where we incorporated students from countries around the world, and how exciting and interesting was that? We had students participating from India, from Burundi, and Rwanda. It was an amazing experience, facilitated by the fact that we had transitioned to online instruction. I have no doubt that you will be incredibly successful in your future endeavors because you are all very, very focused on your goals. We wish you the best of success in your future and in your career and hope that you will stay in touch. Congratulations again. Congratulations to the Cardiology Technologist 0120 cohort who made it to the finish line. As Cardiology Technologist graduates, you are now part of a team of healthcare professionals that take their job literally to heart. As we perform ECGs, stress tests, Holter monitoring, ambulatory monitoring, event monitoring, and pacemaker evaluations, we are often the first face to the patient for a diagnostic procedure. We play a vital role in accurate and timely collection of data that can ultimately determine the next treatment steps for the patient. The heart speaks to us in waveform, so it's visual language, which unveils a lengthy list of probabilities and observations. Through your now trained eyes in this unique language, you make a difference to each patient that you see. Our program unites students from across the country, which has built a collaborative and supportive online community. The interactions from east to west coast will create lasting memories of the connections gained over the past year and a half. My hope for you all is that you continue our passion for the heart and the path of learning never stops. There is always a new secret to unlock in the ECG. Throughout the program, you are a pleasure to teach and watch your knowledge grow in all facets of cardiology. Within this challenging past year, our online delivery platform did not skip a beat, but during our labs when we were face-to-face, -face, it was a new experience for us all. We learned the importance of proper PPE protocols, which you carried with you to your clinical training. In a time of uncertainty from day to day, lab block training and clinical training continued and you all persevered among this formidable environment. Instead of small group boot camp ECG interpretation sessions and Holter scanning while sipping a hot beverage, we all pivoted to ensure a safe distance in the classroom 
while peering through your safety glasses. It was different for us all, but equally rewarding. The road ahead is wide open and full of opportunities for you all. I say with confidence that you all will be successful cardiology technologists, and I cannot wait for you to all send me your crazy ECGs and share with me all that you accomplish. As you celebrate this milestone in your life, we offer best wishes for your continued success. Congratulations, CATG 0120s. Congratulations, CTPP 0419 cohort. The day you have waited for is finally here. As counseling graduates, you are in a unique position to do meaningful work. You can help people overcome challenges and adversity, inspire others to become their best self, empower others to claim their voice, and you will be a beacon of hope for those who feel hopeless. Being your instructor was a privilege. I walked alongside you and witnessed your personal and professional transformation. Throughout your academic program, you showed empathy, integrity, dedication, and commitment. During the global pandemic, you exemplified flexibility. You supported one another and transitioned from an in-class program to an online program and adjusted your work with your clients. You demonstrated attributes required in a counselor. You can be proud. I and the entire counseling faculty celebrate you and your achievements. We wish you the best in your future endeavors and in your counseling career. Today, we welcome you to the counseling community. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Pat Bates, the department head for the Early Childhood Education Program. On behalf of myself and your instructors, Jill, Charmaine, and Sharon, I'd like to congratulate the ECE 0120, the ECE 0420, and the ECE Post Basic 0820 graduates. You're now ready to move into an exciting career where you will play an important role in the lives of many children. As early childhood educators, you have the wonderful joy of working with young children and the opportunity to make a significant contribution to their lives, helping them develop skills that they will use lifelong, and giving them a love of learning is only part of the satisfaction that you will continue to get when working in this career. All of your instructors have expressed how proud they are of how you excelled in your dedication and your commitment to being quality educators and your enthusiasm for beginning or advancing your ECE career. I have no doubt that you will find working with children one of the most rewarding and satisfying challenges you undertake. We hope you'll keep in touch with your Stenberg family so we can all continue to appreciate and celebrate your success. Remember, teaching is the profession that makes all other professions possible. Congratulations, ECE graduates. Hi, I'm Nikki Cross. I am the department head for the Hospital Support Specialist, and I'm here to talk about the amazing 0320 class. I did not get to meet all of you or speak with all of you, but I did get to speak with some of you. And I just wanna let you know that all the things that you guys had to go through during a pandemic and switching courses and things getting all changed around and all the new procedures and policies that you walked into for your practicum and your employment, I wanna let you know how proud of you, of every one of you I am for all the things that you guys have done and accomplished all the different areas that you guys had to go through, all the different protocols that had to change on a drop of a hat, and you all stuck with it. You all showed that this is a good job for you. You all showed that you could step up to the plate and be the person that we were looking to have represent Stenberg. And as your department head, I wanna let you know that I personally am extremely proud of each and every one of you, and I hope that one day you come back and you visit and you tell me all about the experiences that you have and how you love your job and how amazing you are at it, because I know from all the feedback how amazing you are, but I'd like to hear it from you. So I'd really like to congratulate all of you and I hope to see you all in the future. Hello everybody. My name is Rajni Naidu and I am the department head for the Medical Laboratory Assistant Diploma Program at Stenberg. Congratulations to all the medical lab assistants from cohorts MLAD 0520 and MLA 0720. 
Some time ago, you decided upon an important change, a change to better yourself, a change where you can reach your full potential, a change towards a new profession as medical lab assistants, a fine decision and an excellent choice of career. Almost 80% of all medical diagnosis and treatment of patients are dependent upon laboratory tests alone. And this would not be possible without MLA's important role in specimen procurement, specimen handling, and processing. I am proud of your decision to become MLA's and frontline workers, especially during this pandemic. This shows your courage, your confidence, and your passion for this profession. It was a pleasure working with each one of you in class. You constantly impressed your instructors with your hard work and determination. We observed you rise to each challenge and change it into progress. Some of you have families, children, and jobs, and it was not easy. But despite all the hurdles, despite all the bruises and hematomas through lab practice, you persevered. Many of you got hired straight after your practicum. And this reflects on the industry's confidence in your training, your skills, and your knowledge. And as you venture out on this exciting new career path, on behalf of all your instructors, I would like to wish you all the success and fulfillment. Last but not least, please be gentle with those needles. So hi everybody, I am Nikki Cross. I am the department head for the uh, NUC program and I am here to congratulate the amazing NUC 0120s and 0520s on their amazing accomplishments that they have done. We've done lots of things having to learn how to do all of this new stuff in a pandemic and all these different things that you guys had to overcome in such a short amount of time. I'm so proud of you and the amazing hard work that you guys have done to get yourself where you are today. I have heard nothing but amazing things from industry about you. I have heard amazing things from you. And I don't think there's anybody that could be more proud of you than an ex nuc student that took the same course at the same school as you and did all of the same things, but I didn't have to do it during a pandemic. So I really wanna tell you how proud of you I am. I miss all the stories that we had in class. I miss all the conversations. And I wanna show you and tell you guys how much I appreciate you and what you're doing and changing other people's lives and how proud of yourself you should be. Because I, as an ex nuc student and as a department head, am absolutely so amazingly proud of all of you and I miss every one of you. And good luck. Congratulations to the Opticians Program 0519 and 1019 cohorts. You worked very hard and you did it. As graduates from the opticians program, you are now ready to start on your new career, taking care of people's most precious sense, their vision. Whether you're providing the best eyewear, contact lenses, or low vision devices, or an automated refraction, you are making a difference in people's lives. Something special I remember as your practice monitor is your cohort connected and encouraged each other throughout the program. Myself and the other instructors and your preceptors were very impressed how you all came together and adapted to the challenging times with courage and respect. I have no doubt that you are going to be very successful in your career, and I look forward to seeing and hopefully working with you in the optical community. We would like to wish you the best for the future and your career, and keep in touch. Again, congratulations. Hello, graduates. On behalf of the Practical Nursing Leadership Team and faculty, I would like to acknowledge all your accomplishments and hard work. Congratulations to the Practical Nursing Cohort 0619. My name is Nishi Basra. I'm the Manager of Education Delivery. I never had the privilege to teach your cohort, but I connected with many of you during the program. I would find many of you studying before class in one of the empty classrooms, 
and always popped in to see how you were doing and what you were studying. You were a very dedicated group and worked very hard to succeed. Despite all the challenges of finishing nursing school during a pandemic, all of you demonstrated grace and resilience, working extremely hard to be here today. Nurses have a unique perspective and understanding of how precious life is. The perspective is a gift. Nurses, always remember that you are making a difference every day in someone's life, no matter how big or small. I know each of you will make a difference and do great things. Believe in yourselves always. I have no doubt you will enjoy your career as a nurse. You have a lifetime of learning still ahead and you will love every minute of it. A quote from Florence Nightingale, let us never consider ourselves finished nurses. We must be learning all our lives. We wish you all the best. Keep in touch. And once again, congratulations, PN 0619. Hi there, I'm Carolyn Holtgren, uh, Department Head for PTD. Uh, that's the Combined Delivery Pharmacy Technician Program. Uh, it's been quite a year for the Pharmacy Technician Program. Uh, but you all in uh, PTD 0919 and PTD 0220 have made it through. Um, healthcare providers in general have been stretched thin this year and pharmacy technicians are no exception. Um, having you all out in the field in the coming months, uh, once you're fully registered, is very exciting to me as you're starting, in, um, out, you're starting out in your careers in an unprecedented time and the opportunities are endless for you. Uh, both cohorts endured setbacks and many program changes due to COVID. Uh, we had to put our labs on hold uh, and both programs had their program end dates delayed. But you guys all uh, handle it uh, with perseverance and professionalism. Uh, I know it wasn't easy, um, but you guys did so well. Um, for PT0919, you guys were hit the hardest <laughs> due to COVID. Uh, we had to split up your cohort um, for labs and despite it all, you all thrived on your practicums and completed uh, very, very well. I know some of you have written your exams already and I look forward to hearing how your results are and look forward to hearing uh, that you guys are all registered and working out in the field. PTD 0220, you were my first full cohort as a department head. Um, so that was very exciting. It was uh, nice for me to meet you guys right from the beginning of the program in your orientation and to follow you all the way to the end of your practicums uh, and see how much you grew and how much you learned uh, over the year. Uh, you guys all did very well on your practicums as well and I look forward to you guys being able to complete your exams and get fully registered in the coming year. So congratulations to you all and a job very well done. Uh, all the best as you continue on this journey as a pharmacy technician. Congratulations to the Pharmacy Technicians 0521 cohort. You did it. As Pharmacy Technician Program graduates, you are now ready for a career to take care of people's medications. Pharmacy Technicians, you are an amazing bunch and along with your other instructors, we agree that you were a pleasure to teach. It was impressive to watch you grow from getting accustomed to taking classes online due to the pandemic to finally meeting each other in labs and working together to demonstrate the competencies required to become a pharmacy technician. I'll never forget when I was looking at my phone one night and suddenly an email from Neha appeared with a video of Sakraj declaring he was the dad and Frida was being nominated as the mom. It put a great big smile on my face. Again, it was amazing how everyone came together like a big family during labs after being in daily online classes. It wasn't easy to adapt to taking classes from home due to the pandemic, but you did it. I have no doubt that you will all enjoy successful careers as pharmacy technicians. You have worked incredibly hard and I can't wait to see all that you accomplish. And maybe one day we will work together. We wish you all the best in your futures and in your careers and hope you'll keep in touch. Congratulations to you all, Ashley, Alexis, Anisha, Ella, Frida, 
Harman Jot, Michelle Neha, and of course, the dad of the class, Sakraj. I am going to miss you all. I am happy that I took the lead to teach majority of the courses this year because it was a wonderful experience teaching you all. Good luck to you on your future endeavors. To the Regional Diploma in Psychiatric Nursing graduating class of 2021, congratulations. Not only did you complete a rigorous 120 week accelerated nursing program, you completed it amidst a global pandemic. And that is a feat in and of itself. And through this, we were most impressed by your flexibility and adaptability to the changes not only in your program delivery, but also those changes in the clinical settings. The skills of being flexible and adaptable are skills that will serve you well as you enter the workforce and the ever-changing landscape of healthcare. You may recall when you started your program that we shared with you that this would be a transformative experience one that would demand you reflect and evaluate on your own values and belief systems. To open yourself up to considering other points of view and become hungry for feedback and personal growth and professional development. And as faculty, we were witness to just that. Our 0918 cohort is best known for its commitment to advocacy and exemplar communication skills. These are timely skills to have considering the findings from the In Plain Sight report, which documented Indigenous specific racism in BC's healthcare system. Our hope for you as you enter the profession of nursing is you model the way for your colleagues. You stand up against injustice, discrimination, stigma, and racism, and be the voice for those who have been silenced. Get grounded and remain committed to functioning from the foundation of relationship first above anything else. And by doing this, you'll create safe space and uphold the dignity while sitting alongside our clients in their sharing. In the words of Renee Brown, empathy has no script. There is no right or wrong way to do it. It's simply listening, holding space, withholding judgment, and emotionally connecting and communicating that incredibly healing message, you are not alone. On behalf of the RDPN program and its faculty, congratulations again, and we look forward to our paths crossing again as colleagues in the field. Best of luck. Hi, I'm Kate from the Special Education Assistance Program. Congratulations to the SEA 0819 and 0320 cohorts, you did it. You have worked incredibly hard to successfully complete your diploma under the unusual and challenging circumstances of a pandemic. Way to go. You have spent a lot of time in a virtual online classroom where dress tops with pajama bottoms was the norm. Before you leave the house to work in a real classroom, don't forget to put on some slacks. The instructors and I wish you the very best in the next chapter of your professional careers as an EA. Congratulations.
hello neighbor, or more importantly, hello THR 0421 class. Today, we are going to learn about graduation and celebrate and be proud of who you are. What the heck? You may be wondering, why is Cheryl acting like Mr. Rogers? Note, red shirt. Well, you may recall during our times together in class that we would sometimes have a visit from Mr. Rogers himself. And I thought, what not a better way to add to our time together and your celebration than to bring back a memory of our time in collaborate sessions. I also thought it would be a chance for me to do one more lesson on reminiscence. On behalf of the Therapeutic Recreation Assistant Program, faculty and myself, we applaud your dedication, your passion, and your commitment towards your education over the last 11 months. Each of you have brought something unique and special to our program. You have embraced personhood, inclusion, and enhanced the quality of life for others, both in the classroom and during your practicum experiences. Our hope is that you will bring this to your careers working as RTAs. I would like to share a quote from Mr. Rogers or Fred Rogers. All of us at some time or other need help whether we're giving or receiving help, each of us has something valuable to bring to this world. That's one of the things that connects us as neighbors. In our own way, each one of us is a giver and a receiver. As you leave our neighborhood of Stember College, you will also leave an imprint on our hearts. As you enter new neighborhoods, may doors open for you and may you never forget to open doors for those who are unable to open them for themselves. Congratulations, graduates of 2021. Won't you please join me in one final rousing round of virtual applause for the graduating class of 2021. Once again, we'd like to thank you for joining us from wherever you were this evening, taking the time to recognize your grad, uh, the grad with whom you have the closest connection, uh, but also all the other graduates who have similarly made sacrifices uh, to come to this moment of departing their studies and going on out into their careers. Thank you as well to the faculty and staff who uh, have worked so incredibly hard. I mean, they always work hard, but this year in particular has presented unprecedented challenges in terms of education delivery as it has presented challenges in every aspect of our lives. Uh, and so I want to acknowledge their efforts as they had to make the transition into uh, online formats of delivery and alternate formats of delivery to ensure that all programs could continue to a successful conclusion. Before I bid you farewell and, uh, and let you all go out into the evening to celebrate, um, I would like to say just a few words to acknowledge the achievement of this, this particular group of graduates. And I would also like to acknowledge uh, the fact that this group of graduates that we celebrate this evening is the first group that includes students who have started and proceeded through and completed their studies entirely within the context of the COVID pandemic. That means that when they started their programs, they were already going into uh, altered formats of delivery, which presented uh, additional challenges over and above the, the uh, usual rigors of, of uh, academic study. But most impressive to all of us, and, and to me in particular, is just the incredible bravery of so many of the students uh, that have come into Stenberg in the last year. We've seen really a record number of, uh, uh, of students come to Stenberg, uh, all within the context of the pandemic. And so many of them, almost all of them in fact, are heading into careers which we would call frontline. Uh, obviously the many, many healthcare uh, graduates, but also graduates in the field of uh, mental health or uh, early childhood education or, uh, or education support. Uh, in the school system. All of these are frontline positions as we know them and have elevated risk of exposure to COVID. 
And it just has been so inspiring to see that uh, these, these hundreds and hundreds of students holding up their hands and voluntarily heading towards danger, as it were, uh, as opposed to choosing a, a, a different type of a career, a, a career that's perhaps uh, safer with respect to exposure uh, to, to coronavirus. What can you say except that uh, we owe them a, a debt of gratitude for their choice, uh, not just for choosing Stenberg College, of course, but for choosing to uh, make a positive impact on society at a time when our, so our society and our communities need those frontline people more than ever before. So on behalf of everyone at Stenberg College, uh, on behalf of uh, the graduates uh, that, that uh, went before you, on behalf of uh, faculty, staff, and all of the employer groups that we work with at Stenberg College as well, we just want to say a sincere thank you. Thank you for choosing uh, to go forward and make a difference at this, uh, this critical time in our, uh, in our history. And last but not least, I want to say a thank you on behalf of the graduates to all of those people who have stood behind them in support throughout the past year. And I'm talking here about uh, the friends and family, probably all of the people that are watching this broadcast. You're watching because you care and because you very certainly had a hand in uh, their studies and the success of their studies through this past year. No graduate is an island. Uh, no graduate comes without somebody or, or a network of people supporting them. And uh, without that support, it's, it's unlikely that uh, they will meet with the same level of success that all of the individuals we celebrated tonight have met. So uh, thank you to you uh, for the sacrifices that you have made, uh, for caring about your graduate, uh, your son, your daughter, your husband, wife, friend, whoever that, that person is to you. And beyond, on behalf of them, we thank you as well. And uh, with that, I bring uh, the Spring Convocation for 2021 to a close. Stay safe, stay healthy, of course, be kind to one another. In the words of Dr. Henry, and uh, all the best to you in the year ahead. Thank you and good night.